Hook right now. Right then, uh, Roger S. Lloyd. Um, any relation? No. Okay. Uh, he sent us this one. GRX 4630 chain set with a 9 to 42 wow. 11 speed cassette and DI2. That's a bit of a mind melter, isn't it? But there you go. Um, I live in the French Alps and ride up to 200,000 vertical oh, meters per show year. Showing off. Twofold there, isn't he? How many Everestings that? Quite a few. Um, anyway, uh, my ideal cadence. You're a bit of a spinner. 97 to 105. So uh, here you go. This, like, massive gear range. That's bonkers, isn't it? It is, yeah. I've just been working out in my head. It's about 22 Everestings. Have you actually... I didn't listen to anything else you said. <laughs> I'm impressed, that mate. You don't need out. to listen to anything if you're doing, uh, you're doing maths like that. 22 uh, Everestings. Well, it's not about the Everestings. It's about whether it's a hack or bodge. What are you going with? Well, I've got to say hack, probably, actually. It's not my cup of tea, personally, but that... That's oh, I don't need ingenious. such high gear ratios when I'm climbing. Uh, I do, so I'm going to give it a hack. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It yeah. reminds me of a, uh, an April Fool's I saw from... Um... Really stuck in your mind, this one, didn't it? I'm just trying to think what the bike brand is. Schindelhauer, there we go. Uh, and they mated a pinion gearbox to a Rolhoff rear hub and they created something like 227 gears for it, which uh, I thought was excellent. Was that your cup of tea or not? It was funny. Good pants. Okay. <laughs> right then. 73% of you went with hack for that one. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Uh, moving on down.